The question of working with celebrities is a very, very special one. Um, we at Skyboat are very fortunate in that um, uh, some of our earliest experiences in this industry were with celebrities almost exclusively. Um, back when I started with Dove Audio uh, under the tutelage of Deborah Raffin, uh, who uh, was terrific at working specifically with celebrities. Uh, I had a chance to observe her and learn a lot about how to do it. We at Skyboat Media have been uh, very proud to work with a number of celebrities uh, whom Audible has uh, sent our way to uh, direct, produce um, for several years now. What was especially wonderful most recently uh, was to participate uh, uh, quite seriously in Audible's A-list productions, which included people like uh, Anne Hathaway, Annette Bening, um, Hilary Swank, uh, and uh, most notably right now, since uh, their uh, productions are uh, up for Audis in, uh, in narration, uh, are Dustin Hoffman. Uh, and Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton reading Joan Didion was a very interesting example. Wonderful match. Uh, not that Diane Keaton is like Joan Didion particularly, but um, there's a great deal of sympathy. Uh, certainly Diane felt it uh, uh, having grown up to some degree in, in the in those parts of Southern California that Joan Didion in Slouching to Bethlehem writes about, uh, there was a special tie to the author. She'd done some research, uh, she'd, uh, she'd studied up on Joan, understood a lot about where she came from, and just plugged into it right away. Um, it was a terrific match and, and one that I think really clearly shows up well in the result. Dustin Hoffman reading Jerzy Kozinski, one would think, that's a very odd choice. I gather he was given the choice of a book to record. He came up with a few suggestions, and this is one that, uh, that they zeroed in on. Um, well, it's not that off the wall. It's not that weird, actually. It turns out that Dustin knew Jerzy Kozinski. You used to hang out with him back in the day, um, understood what he was about, and somehow was in sympathy with being there, the, the main character of being there, the, the protagonist, um, as someone who observes, who, who participates in life accidentally, if you will. He understood what Kozinski was talking about, uh, and he somehow plugged into the, uh, the, the very um, clipped, enigmatic style of the writing very quickly and just got it. For all the various types of performance that Dustin Hoffman has done in his career, long-ranging, um, including stage, film, you name it, he'd never read an audiobook before. So this was a brand new experience for him. And um, he had to figure it out. Uh, what does this take? Oh, it turns out, and he insisted, uh, that this was the most difficult kind of acting he'd ever done, uh, which is kind of interesting. I think, uh, I think it has to do with, uh, with a very different sense of not just playing a character, but telling the story and playing all the characters in a way. Um, and somehow he found this and the fact of being in the booth, sitting there for hours on end uh, with not many breaks, um, a difficult thing to sustain. It is for anybody, uh, but especially if, if film is your primary medium, uh, you know, you do a take here, a take there, and boom. Uh, this is more like stage but, again, you're on all the time, and, um, and he, he felt that, uh, and, and he felt it was challenging, uh, and I think ultimately he felt it was very satisfying. 
Speaking of celebrity reads, um, we had a terrific time working with Martin Sheen and Emilio Estevez uh, in their co-written autobiographical um, story uh, along the way, uh, which is about making a movie that they did together. Uh, it was quite a trip because the, the book is written in alternating chapters. Um, Martin writes one, then Emilio, and back and forth, and back and forth. Um, we had the two of them in different studios recording at the same time. And Gabrielle was directing one, I was directing the other, and we would occasionally compare notes, or, or they'd run into, you know, one or the other studio and see, oh, okay, how's, how's he doing? How's, how's, how's he sound? Uh, not to match, probably just to sound as different as possible, actually. It was, um, it was amazing. And these guys are, I mean, these are personalities, um, just wonderful, wonderfully rich personalities. These people have been around, they're professionals, they know what they're doing, and they have a ball. And they had a ball doing that recording. It's great. Casting Anne Hathaway uh, to record The Wizard of Oz was a brilliant move. Um, this is a lady who has all the spunk, the charm, the wit uh, that is implicit in the book that doesn't always come to the surface. And she somehow managed to mine that book uh, for every little ounce of, of uh, comedy humor. Um, it was just quite wonderful, a very, very special performance.